Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all and as you can see in the screen Team Week to Bastodon, but I'm still running it and absolutely not recommended team this is a little Ninetales Shadow with Charm in the lead and for Alligator and uh, Talonflame at the back now for Alligator is kind of only your <laughs> answer against those Bastodons and yeah, there are, there are a lot of uh, weaknesses no clear answer against Lantern that is why I'm telling you not recommended at all now the idea here is all these three Pokemon did, will not get any nerf in the coming season or in the season 2020 or the next season. So that is why I kind of put them all together and made a team. So I wanted to test uh, them for the like to kind of get ready for the next season. And it is kind of good if, if you don't see Bastardon, this team is like very good. Now again, not uh, this team's motive is not making the team with these three, but. Uh, just looking how good they are and they will be for the next season as well so without any further ado let's start the battles here and there we go gold bat and they swap out and <laughs> maybe they like thought i i have the uh, powder snow but i have a charm here and this guy goes for the move here they come in with the polyweth i don't swap and that was the dynamic punch i kind of made a little bit of mistake there not a little bit of great bit of mistake and yeah who would have guessed they will get uh, they will run dynamic punch right so i come in with the talent flame what a brave play by me look at that what a brave play by me <laughs> to tank the icy wind and we are now debuffed and if they come in with their uh, gold bat then i'll try to boost my uh, move here i mean boost my attack here with the flame charge they actually shield so they might be very weak against talent flame at the back so i throw the fly now if they throw the move i'm just going to shield because i already know that they are weak against talent flame at the back so i shield this and we still got two shields so they had glare and stun fist now look at those incinerate damage this flame charge is even gonna boost my uh attack now this will do more damage now only two incinerates are enough so that is why i shield here and they will not get to another rock slide so i'll just farm this guy down and throw the energy at their gold bat and they'll come back with their gold bat and this fly is gonna knock them out and it is going to be the GG here. Yep, moving on to another battle. It's going to be Azumarill. Now, yep, both, both the Pokemon kind of doesn't do good against this guy. So, I kind of stay here. And I just, like, uh, shield the player off here. And then go for the... Uh, what I like to do is do just go for the double uh, Weather Ball. Yeah, double Weather Ball here. Because one Psy Shock is not going to be enough. And will not get to the Psy Shock and, and Weather Ball before they get the move that is why we go for the double weather ball here and force them to shield there we go they shield and there we go they get to the move if we had gone for the side shock and tried to go for the weather ball they would have got to the move so i'm now happy to let my nine tails go and come in with the talent flame and they bring in their leaky and hello oh hey hello i guess uh, something happened there i mean knock knock i guess uh yeah, if, uh, either their connection went out, either power cut, either battery dead, or they have something very weak against Talonflame at the back that they can do nothing. And it was Shadow Victory Bell. Yep, and I caught the battle there. <laughs> GG's. Moving on to another battle. It's going to be Vigo and they come in with their Skeletor. So I come in with my uh, Feral Gear. Now things looking good here, right? So I just went for the Hydro Cannon here, right? And they shield. So I'm going to shield. They are going for the move. And they went for the full send their Shadow Ball. Alright. Then I'll just go for the Hydro Cannon. Another Hydro Cannon. And let's see if they decide to shield this one as well. But I don't think they will. And they will definitely come in back with their uh, Vigoroth. And I will get to the Hydro Cannon. At the same time they will get to the uh, Body Slam there. And they throw the Body Slam here. They might try to undercharge maybe. Or, but let's see. Uh, okay, they will get one more counter there. So what I do here is uh, I come in with my uh, A9. Yes, and they have the talent flame. Look at that! They had a talent flame. I swap right into my talent flame as soon as I saw their talent flame. So what I'm gonna do here is I am like gonna oh, they brave bird me. <laughs> they brave bird me, man. <laughs> it was you are so rough, man. And it's going to be for Alligator in the next game. I'm just going to shield the Hydro Cannon and just go for the Weather Ball before they get, get to another Hydro Cannon. And sometimes it's like 
fun, you know, at the end of the season. Uh, I'm allowed to have some fun, right, guys? Am I not? And I catch their Hydro Cannon at my own, in my own Royal Gator. They come in with their Annihilate. All right, they came in with their Annihilate. All right. For the Shadow Claw. Uh, it's going to be super effective. And they ate the Hydro Cannon. And they're just going for the move. Even a Night Slash would knock us out from his range. And they just threw the Shadow Ball. Because I would just come and charm them. They would thought, uh, they thought. And so they threw the Shadow Ball. At that time, anything they threw wouldn't matter that much. So I come in with my Talon Flame to get 5 turns of energy there. Let's see what they decided to do. And they come in with their own Talon Flame. Whoa, a lot of Talon Flames were seen. And I waited for a turn and waited and tried to catch the move and I failed there. And they... Did they try to catch? But it doesn't matter. They farm us down and they have a lot of energy and that was the CMP, I guess. That was the CMP. Now let's see. Let's see. That was the CMP. And I call it and it is the fly. One fly is not gonna knock us out. That is why I didn't shield there. So now they threw the Brave Bird and one fly is gonna get it. gonna be enough. Man, I won this battle. <laughs> and moving on to another one. It's going to be Needle Queen. Alright, Needle Queen, very bad lead because we don't have weather ball also. And I come in with the talent thing. they come in with their Feraligator. Not not good. Not good. Not good. Bad lead. Even worse. Counter swap. What is happening? And actually, I saw three or four Bastidons in the lead. And I like top lift, to be honest. Uh, there we go. You're your honest content creator. I am. <laughs> and uh, What do I do? Should I come here with the A9? And charm this thing all the way, and then shield one hydro cannon. Now let's see. And they bring in their needle back there. They shield now. <laughs> we don't. We both don't have any shields. And there you go. They've got greedent. Now you know what? They've got trailblaze as well. So this is really bad. It's really bad. They've got Trailblaze, so there is no way we can win this. They still got that Needle Queen there. And not even a Weather Ball is gonna knock them out from the that range. They still have got a lot of health. Their Needle Queen. So yeah. That's what it is. And it's going to be a GG. There's no way, like, nothing can be done here from here. So I just top lift. And we want to another battle. Finally, we get a good lead there. Annihilate. All right, Annihilate. And they are staying for two, 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 two counters. And they come in with their lantern. Now, I don't have lantern against lantern. So I'm just going to stay and just going to try at least take their shield. And do some damage with this shadow charm. I just throw the side shock here. Let's see if they decide to shield. And they do shield. Now I catch their surf in my Feraligator. And uh, just go for the... Uh, they're they're kind of staying. And I just throw the Hydro Cannon because I don't want them to swap their Lantern with some energy there. Because we got Talon Flame at the back. That's why I threw the Hydro Cannon as soon as I reached there. That's what I did there. And they come in back with their Annihilate actually. And they will get to the move. This is just going to be the Night Slash. I think I can survive this. And I can throw the Hydro Cannon. That is why I didn't shield there. And I do that. They get the boost there. They get the boost there. Let's see how much that is going to matter. They get the boost there. And I waited for some time. And then come in with my Nine Tails. And damn they got to counter us. I should have come in with a Talon Flame, but no, it's, I'm just going to shield this Night Slash. And they got A Slash at the back, so this is kind of over for my opponent there. And after this, this is going to overkill this A Slash. And one Incinerate is going to knock them out. They will not get to even a Night Slash. So, GG's. Moving on to another one. It's going to be Fantastic League, finally. And final two battles, we get the good leads. And they come in with their Tenta Cruel. And you know what? Tenta Cruel is water. Uh, Tenta, the, the, the Talon Flame is fire. But see what happens here. See what happens. I shield the skull there. I just go for the flame charge. 
because we will still get to three moves even if we go for the flame charge and two flies that's why i went for the flame charge there now a double shield here now a double shield because i know that i can get to the double barely and then get to double move want to take their shield and want to take them out look at that talent flame flipping the switch here talent flame flipping the switch <laughs> We take the victory there. Bam. Because they are gonna like surrender. And they had Neuro Queen at the back. If they had aligned there. So uh, Hydro Cannon did a lot of damage. And yep. So they surrender. Yep. And GG's and that is it guys. Anti and not anti Bastidon. Well uh Best of them top lift team. <laughs> so that was like fun team and I hope you like the content. But all three Pokemons are still going to be good in the uh, next season. Talking about Talonflame he is going to be a little weak against Leaky Leaky which is going to be the meta. Like uh, my previous video is going to be, uh, yeah, my previous video was about Leaky Leaky. So Leaky Leaky is going to get rollout so Talonflame is going to have a little problem. But uh, other than that Talonflame is still going to roll in next season so i hope you like the content if you like the content please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet thank you so much guys